So Dragon Ball Super sucks. The animation's not all that. I mean, pff, come on. Like, they have the potential to be good, but uh, it, the plot elements usually fall like short 99% of the time. And characters just feel like old shells of themselves. And overall, it's not good. I mean, really and truly, people, like, 99% of the time, you'll go to a comment section on YouTube and where drama is super concerned, and you'll probably see at least one comment like that. And we've been having comments like this ever since more or less the start of um, the series, more or less episode five. We know, we, we know that went. <laughs> But yeah, so there's that. And it's even reached the point where people are saying Dragon Ball GT is, it's better. Like people are starting to say that. I've seen one and two people mention that at this point. But the thing is, Dragon Ball GT stopped at episode 64. Dragon Ball Super is going 100 plus episodes strong. So despite our complaints, you have to... Think to yourself, Dragon Ball Super must be doing something right, or something was in place for Dragon Ball Super to be doing so well. So the thing is, with this video, I'm just doing a little discussion, or you know, I'm putting forward a few points where I feel, what well, I feel, sorry, that Dragon Ball Super does so well, and by extension compared to GT, and kind of see why GT may have failed. Of course, it's Sunday, it's a pretty chill day, it's raining, well, yeah, it sounds like it's raining. Yeah, and I'm not doing any editing or anything fancy like that. Straight to the point, let me know what you think at the end of this discussion. Um, of course, my webcam quality sucks. Whatever, just deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. So be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of. Think, well, think about this once I'm done. But let's get into it. So the first reason why I feel Dragon Ball Super <sighs> does so well are what was put in place for it to do so well is the release date. Now, the thing is, Dragon Ball GT was released in, what, 1996, 1997 in Japan, as opposed to Dragon Ball Super that was released, what, two years ago, 2015. Now, the thing is, once Dragon Ball Z ended in Japan, I don't believe the ratings were at their highest, and introducing a series like, what, right after or at most a year after Dragon Ball ended, I, which objectively speaking isn't as good as, as its predecessors, it's not, going to, it's not going to do the ratings justice, especially because I've said it before, Dragon Ball GT has interesting concepts but poor execution, I believe. So, as opposed to, granted, Dragon Ball Super is more or less in the same boat, but the thing is, with the release date, it kind of factors in a nostalgia effect because having a Dragon Ball series nearly 20 years later, once, you know, people have kind of dipped their hands in series here and there, series that may or may not have been better than the Dragon Ball franchise on a whole, the thing is, at the end of the day, people grew up with this series. I'm sure, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no question, people grew up with this series and bringing back the series after so long people are going to want to check it out see what's happening with it and all of that that's the advantage i believe super has over gt if you get what i'm saying so there's that it has that nostalgia effect now for my second reason i believe it's that we with super being released in 2015 um as opposed to gt that was released in what 996 997 around there is that we we have a new generation of viewers, a new generation of Dragon Ball content, and by extension, a larger fan base. What I mean by that is this: when Dragon Ball GT ended in Japan, um, we're more or less just getting Dragon Ball here in the Western Hemisphere, more or less, for specifically like the English dub. Now, the thing is, well, obviously speaking, you can put two and two together. We've had, ever since then, we've had Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, we've had a bunch of games over here in the Western Hemisphere, and of course, obviously, the fan base is going to grow. Now, I think really and truly, more than like the, 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 the a new generation of people really and truly comes in where Dragon Ball Kai airs in 2009. 
And by extension, eventually, you know, Dragon Ball Kai, the final chapters, or Dragon Ball Z Kai, whatever you want to say, depending on your territory, I suppose. And we've had other Dragon Ball related content, well, new generation content, as I'll call it, such as, you know, Battle of Gods, the movie came out, we had Resurrection F, we've had new games. It kind of feels like a Dragon Ball renaissance, so to speak. Now, the comparison here with why Super does so well compared to, like, say, GT back in the day is that Super has a larger market to fall back on, essentially speaking, as opposed to when GT ended. Super, how to put it now? The thing is, the new generation of viewers, they, I'm not saying has to be the case, but they may not be viewing the series as critically as a lot of us that we see here, like on social media and all of that. They are basically on, they've been <laughs> initiated into the Dragon Ball hype train, so to speak. And they're, they, they may eventually view it more, more critically, but that doesn't always have to be the case. So the thing is, They've been sold with the Dragon Ball content that they may have seen such as Kai or Battle of Gods, they've seen the hype, the how popular it is, and by extension the creators such as Toriyama, Toei, they've seen how popular it is. And they're sold on it, and they're, they've basically made an investment of their time, I guess, to a degree, their emotions into the series at this point. And Dragon Ball Super now has that to fall back on, despite its probably sloppy execution at the end of the day. So that's the thing that I believe helps to factor into why Dragon Ball Super continues to do so well. Because now that it even has such a larger market to appeal to, despite its execution, um, the thing is, it's helping merchandise to sell at this point. <laughs> so there's that. Um, moving on to my third point though, it's the world building and concepts at play for Dragon Ball Super. And by, and by extension, my fourth point be the use of characters, which I, I'm going to break down once I get there as well. So Dragon Ball GT, as I've mentioned, has interesting concepts, but poor execution. And by extension, well, not by extension, but Dragon Ball Super is more or less in the same boat as that. Um, the thing is, Dragon Ball Super has more concepts at play when compared to GT. I mean, GT... The saga with Baby, we had hunting the Dragon Balls, trying to bring back old Dragon Ball magic to the to the audience. We had the Shadow Dragons, Super 17. The thing is with Super, we have what Gods of Destruction, we have God Key, we have a God Hierarchy, we have the multiverse, we have all of that at play here for Super, which can lead to a bunch of stories far beyond the amount that Dragon Ball GT could have produced, um, based on how the plot unfolded for that series. So that's the thing really and truly, there's just more concepts at play. And my fourth point kind of ties into this, in the sense that there's the use of characters. No matter how you slice and dice it, you have an investment. As a Dragon Ball fan, you have an investment in these characters. Now, I know people who have such an investment in these characters growing up, but don't watch the series anymore. But for those of us that still do watch Dragon Ball, we, yeah, I mean, no matter how you slice and dice it, we all have an investment in these characters, and we have an investment and interest into seeing how these characters interact with the concepts at play in this series. We want to see how it goes. So it's like you watch the Battle of Gods arc in Super, you watch Resurrection F, and you say, yo, this, this is shit. It's stupid. They come with a universe, first universe, seven term, and like, okay, Dragon Ball Super sucks, but I kind of want to see how the characters, how, how they interact with the concepts that they're putting forward at the end of the day. So it's like every arc in Super is yeah, this isn't all that, but the next arc, the concept sounds interesting. Well, I want to see how Goku and friends kind of tackle this story they're putting forward, essentially. So there's that. Um, but on a more generic level, the use of characters, I feel, is definitely better than GT, which people will joke and say it's essentially the Goku show, <laughs> really and truly, because everything falls back on Goku. Now, in a sense, it kind of feels that way in Super, but, you know, Vegeta's getting some spotlights. Um, we have some interesting character moments throughout the anime. You know, we have Gohan, we have Trunks, 
I mean, in terms of the slice of life moments, Super does well. That's one thing I can't take away from it, the anime specifically. Um, I, I think it's really just that at the end of the day, like the characters, the use of characters is on a generic level is better than GT and the concepts that the characters are interacting with at the end of the day in Super, it, it builds interest and investment in the show despite its sloppy execution. So that, that's, that's the thing that I feel that really helps to sell Super at the end of the day. No, really and truly, it could all just be nostalgia, but I think these are legitimate points which, we, I mean, they can be argued, but I think they're legitimate points. But yeah, really and truly, that, that's it. Um, let me know what you think, honestly speaking, at the end of the day, why Super does so well despite its sloppy execution on a lot of things. Um, so yeah release date, new generation of viewers, content, larger fan base, um, the world building and the concepts that play and the use of characters. I mean, despite all the complaints, despite the power scaling sh shit, <laughs> that's just it at the end of the day, people. Super has a lot of things to fall back on that GT just didn't do or just didn't have in place before. That's really the reason Super does well in a nutshell to me. But yeah, so Sanjay Uchi here, rate, comment, subscribe. This is your Sunday discussion. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. God, it's hot in here. Damn it.